problem where I just cannot get myself to go to bed early enough before these Adobe streams. Like, I have to get up at 6, and I used to get up at 6 all the time, but I would also go to bed at a better time. <laughs> and so last night, it was past midnight by the time I finally got into bed because I just had to do, like, prep, editing the vlog, and I was working on book stuff. Like, I really had no choice, and so now I'm like, my eyes are so bloodshot. I was putting in, like, a million eye drops. I need to run to Timmy's for breakfast and they're gonna think I'm like some druggie or something But really my eyes just look like this when it's early and if I haven't slept many hours So I mean five isn't terrible, but Yeah, today I'm doing the cheap. I'm doing like a cheap Acrylic painting because I've been meaning to use these for ages. I've had these paints for like Four years or something <laughs> I'm gonna be painting with those today on a canvas that I also got from the dollar store. These brushes, they're also from the dollar store, although I probably might use some other ones that aren't from the dollar store because I might need some fine tipped ones. But that's what I'm doing today in the Adobe stream. But I'm gonna stop talking because I gotta hurry up. Stream starts in half an hour. Gotta do some final OBS setup, run to Timmy's, all that jazz. So, see you guys later. Yay, I finally got the French vanilla mix. <laughs> They didn't give me a packet of ketchup, though, for my hash brown. Hmm. Okay, it's now just a little past 11. My stream just ended, and this is the painting that I came up with. Just something simple to test out the paints, and then maybe move to something more detailed next time. Details are scary, though, with a paintbrush. <laughs> but if you have, like, a bigger canvas, you can get more detail in without having to draw super tiny, so that's something I might try. I do have some other canvases back here. I just didn't want to test those out. Like, I wanted to test the dollar store acrylics on, like, a cheap canvas before moving on to these. They're not that big, though. Like, I don't know, I bought these a while ago, and I haven't really used any of them. I have a couple colored ones, too, a black canvas, and then this kind of gray one, and then a smaller black one. So I might have to use some of these. I kind of want one this size, just white, to test out for my next one. Or I could even just use this boxed one. Although this isn't really any bigger. This is an 11 by 14 and the one I used was a 9 by 12 so that's not that much bigger. I really like these paints. Like, they're nice. They're really soupy. I like that. Like, they're so liquidy. They're so easy to spread. They look good. Like, I love the colors. I just like, I don't know, it just looks really cool. It makes me want to do more like this and I enjoyed it. So, yay for dollar store paints. Then here's my <laughs> palette. Bummy, why? I also want to make a run to Superstore. I might turn it into like a mini grocery haul because you need some groceries desperately. But my main reason for going there is to get kosher salt because I want to use it in the book pages I'm working on today. Well, just on like the one page. I want to mention like the salt sprinkling technique for watercolor. So I'm going to see if I can find that at Superstore and pick up a few groceries while I'm there as well. But first, I'm just gonna get a few things in order. I gotta wind down from the live stream, just kinda like, I did check comments already on the vlog, but I just kinda clean up and get things in order and then I can head out. And then when I come back, work on those two pages, just two, and then I'm done the first half. And I can submit it to my editor and then we can party this week. By party, I mean playing Pokemon and live streaming and making videos. <laughs> Brushes are all cleaned using my art soap stuff, <laughs> the master's soap. This is the stuff I was talking about. The master's artist soap removes grease, paint, stain, ink, dye. Mm. Smells pretty nice too. <laughs> I was about to put my shoes and jacket on. And then I remembered I'm expecting a package today that requires a signature and it's like a big important one. It's for Christian, for Christmas. And I don't wanna have to go pick that up anywhere. So I'll wait for that. Like I need it for one of my pages, but I can still do everything else except that one section. So I'll wait, I'll wait on the Superstore run. Is that your poof, baby? Oh, yes. <laughs> Got a bit of paint on your whiskers. No, oh, I wasn't even recording. Why world? Why world? I'll just repeat what I just said. <laughs> I was saying how I don't think the delivery is coming today, even though it was scheduled for today. So I'm just going to go out, get the salt, because it's 3.30. They would have come by now. So I'm going out. I always feel fancy when I wear my white jacket. And I'm also paranoid I'm gonna get it dirty, but it's very cute. 
I want that moose. So soft. Mr. Moose is too expansive. Classy. So I just got back. I was just about at my door when I realized I forgot the salt. I forgot the salt. Like, are you kidding me? That was my whole reason for going out. And I forgot it. I gotta go back because I need it. Wow. I did remember to go to Chapters though to pick up the Beauty and the Beast book. I actually have two, like one I can flip through and one to like keep nice. <sighs> yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the one good point about this trip. I guess there's there's a second good point. I got a couple uh, Kinder surprises because they have the medium sized ones out. Usually they just have the regular sized ones unless it's around Christmas or Easter. So I didn't see any jumbo ones. I'm sure they'll get them in, but uh, I decided why not get these. I don't know if they have a Christmas themed toy inside or if it's just kind of Christmas wrapping, but figured why not grab a couple. And of course the cashier's like, oh, are these for you? And I'm like, why does everyone always ask that? I said yes, but. <laughs> ah. Ooh, bunch of goodies in there. Mm-mm-mm. Bye, babies. Why is this so big? You know, just casually walking around with nearly a kilogram of salt. Yeah, I'm listening to Paint the Night again. Okay, it's now 5.30, and my packages were just delivered. This is Jazz's book, and then the other one that's like present for Christian, so. Yeah, the present's hiding in the closet. The doorbell rings, and I was like, Jazz! <laughs> he was in the bathroom anyway, so it didn't matter. Okay, I need two hands. Yay! I'm so excited! I'm probably gonna look through it and be like, oh, my book sucks. This one's so much better than mine. <laughs> woo woo! I actually laughed out loud when I saw this. <laughs> it's 10.06, and I just submitted the first half of my book to my editor. So that feels really good and I don't know, it just feels nice to say like I got a whole half done and I'm excited to get feedback on all of it from my editor, just kind of see like what kind of things they change because then I can like apply those changes going forward to the second half of the book. Uh, most of the changes just have to do with writing style, just making it kind of more suited towards a how to draw a book, that sort of thing. At least that's what my experience was with the first um, tutorial I submitted because I, I had to submit a sample step-by-step -step tutorial and then they kind of like told me what to change and then I just had to go ahead and then complete a whole half of the book. Kind of without guidance unless I need guidance then I can ask questions. That's kind of how it went. And so I'm not really sure when I'll get feedback on this first half but um, yeah. Anyway, I am going to eat something because I haven't eaten in like seven hours so I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.